Wagwan, wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, today I'm going to be showing you how to make salmon lasagna roll. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, yeah. yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. And we are back as I said before we're making some salmon lasagna roll. It sounds difficult but it's not I guarantee you. So stick with me and let's get right into these ingredients and the steps to get it perfect at home. So we're going to start off with our seasoning and I'm going in with one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of onion powder and garlic powder and a tablespoon of paprika. We're just going to mix that in. So I have here a pound of salmon de-skinned, washed with lime and vinegar and rinse off with water and I pat dry it to an extent, right? And I'm going to be seasoning this with half the amount of the seasoning. This may look like a lot of seasoning, but I guarantee it's not. Remember, we're using a tablespoon of the onion powder, garlic powder. It's just one tablespoon of salt, and salt is not that much, right? And we're just gonna rub that in. A drizzle of olive oil on top. This will help us to season this properly. Nicely seasoned salmon, and what I'm gonna do, pop these in my air fryer. So you can allow these to marinate for about 20 to 30 minutes, but I'm just gonna pop these right into my air fryer to cook it for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna pop these in for 10 minutes. So while our salmon is in the oven, we're gonna work on that Alfredo sauce, or you can call it cream sauce, quick and easy sauce, few ingredients just to get this nice and perfect. The first thing I'm gonna be using is some garlic butter. If you have regular butter, you can use that and chop some garlic fine to add it in there so you get that garlic flavor, all right? I have a video out on this butter, so check it out right there. Then immediately to that butter, I'm gonna add some flour, about a tablespoon, mix that in. This may look like it's burning, but it's not. It's roasted garlic that I used to make this butter. And then right away, so I'm gonna add two cups in half and half here. So mix that in a little bit at a time. Gonna add some fresh ground nutmeg in there. Some fresh ground nutmeg, about a quarter teaspoon. Some oregano, one tablespoon. This is gonna give my sauce a great taste. If you don't have oregano, you can use some dry basil as well. And then the remainder of that seasoning that we use on the salmon, remember it's not salty. We have the garlic powder, the onion powder, you know what I say? I was just gonna season that. This should be nice and flavorful. We're gonna push this aside. So it's gonna turn this down on a low heat now. So for the pasta now I have here cream cheese. I have one block of cream cheese. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that sauce because it's hot. This will help it to melt. Gonna go in with some sharp cheddar. This is quarter cup. Gonna add a little bit of Parmes aged Parmesan and one handful of chopped spinach. So now I have the salmon ready, I have the sauce ready, I have the cream cheese mixture ready and here I have 12 lasagna sheets, I already cooked them in some salt water with a little bit of oil and once they were cooked for 10 minutes I drained the water off, add a bit of cold water to stop the cooking and then I drain that off and coat it in some olive oil. Now I'm going to grab each sheet, put the sheet down flat and we're going to go in with that cream cheese mixture. Get 
that cream cheese mixture on here and spread it. This is our salmon. Just gonna fork it. So you break that up with your fork. So now I'm gonna go in with some of that salmon on each one of these. Ensuring to just not to put too much, very thin layer, because you need everything to get salmon. Then we're just gonna roll these up nice and tight. Get some of that sauce onto the bottom of the pan, a casserole dish. Then we're gonna add the salmon. Nice. I just added the salmon to the remainder of the cream cheese mixture. Just gonna add that sauce right on top. Beauty. And then finish off with some pizza mozzarella. Spread that generously. And this is a freshly grated one. Using about a cup, just enough to top off the entire top. I'm gonna hit that with some chopped parsley for garnish. Half now, half later. And there we go. I'm gonna pop this in a 400 degrees oven until the cheese is melted and the pasta is reheated for about 10 to 15 minutes. You know what I say? And then we'll brown up the top. There we go, 15 minutes in the oven, 10 minutes on 400 and five minutes on broil. And look at that nice color and the cheese. Let's dig in. Soft. Creamy, let's go. <laughs> hit it's a hit mm. Mm -hmm. there it is there it is mm -hmm. fresh creamy cheesy mm. Mm -hmm. Alisa the kids are sleeping Salmon. Yeah, man. What is this? Nice. Beautiful. Sorry, so jump your sleeve. I don't go out and buy fish, but if this is on the list, mm -hmm. I'm definitely buying this. Mmm. Roll up nicely. It's so creamy. Mm-hmm. Cream cheese. And then the spinach in it, everything just it's like light, it's not too heavy. I don't know, it's weird. Like it's not heavy. Mm-hmm. It's like a nice, it's a nice little light meal. Light meal? Mm-hmm. It's a snack. <coughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, hot man, got the oven the on the air fryer, everything. 
But yeah, I need some white wine. But that's it. Quick yeah. liquor recipe, you know what I say? And it's just different from the regular um, lasagna that you're used to. And it's easier to play because everything is rolled up into a bar like so, you know what I say? So remember, if you love the video, hit thumbs up. If you love the vibes, hit subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. So once again, thank you very much for watching. And see if travel panic gravel and go and big up on yourself.